Welcome to our lecture online. Now it's time to do an example of how to find the Norton equivalent circuit of the one that we have presented here. Notice we're already pre-prepared because what we've done here is we've taken our original circuit, removed the current source and made it into an open circuit so we can find the Thevenin equivalent impedance of the circuit, which of course is the same as the Norton equivalent impedance. So let's go ahead and do that. So Z Norton which is the same as Z Thevenin, is going to be equal to the impedances seen from the terminals A and B. Notice that we have these two in parallel connected to the 6 ohm resistor in series. So that will be equal to 6 plus the parallel connection, which is the product over the sum. So we have J4 multiplied times a minus J2 divided by a J4 plus a negative J2. All right, so this becomes 6 J times J is negative, but times the negative becomes positive. That would be a positive 8, so plus 8 divided by, this would be a J2. All right, so this is equal to 6 plus 8 with a phase angle of 0 divided by 2 with a phase angle of 90 degrees. Notice that this becomes equal to 6 plus 4 with a phase angle of minus 90 degrees. And essentially, the Norton equivalent impedance is going to be equal to 6 minus J4. So, notice that was relatively easy again. When you remove the, uh, the sources, it's relatively easy to find the impedance. So this is equal to 6 minus J4. Now, we might as well find the magnitude and phase angle format of that because we're probably going to need it. So that becomes 36 plus 16, take the square root of that, which is 7.211. So this is equal to 7.211 with a phase angle of 4 divided by 6. That's a negative 33.69 degrees. Negative 33.69 degrees. All right, so now we have it in both formats. What's next? Now we need to find the voltage across A and B. But notice we only have a current source. But the current source is in parallel to the impedance of the rest of the circuit. So that means that the voltage over here, which can be called the Thevenin voltage, is going to be equal to the current times the impedance of the other branch because the voltages have to be the same across both branches. So in this case, voltage Thevenin is going to be equal to the current of the source multiplied times the Thevenin equivalent impedance because that's the same as the impedance of the rest of the circuit. All right, so that becomes I of the source, which is 2 with a phase angle of 0 degrees multiplied times 7.211 with a phase angle of minus 33.69 degrees. And so this is equal to 14.41, oh, 422, because I'm doubling everything, 422 with a phase angle of minus 33.69 degrees. And that will be the Thevenin voltage, which, of course, is also going to be equal to the voltage from A to B. Of course, that doesn't give us the Norton current yet, because to find the Norton current, I Norton, that is equal to the Thevenin voltage divided by the Thevenin impedance, which is the same as the Thevenin voltage divided by the Norton impedance. It's the same thing. So, we take 14.422 with a phase angle of minus 33.69 degrees, and we divide it by the impedance right here, which we have in terms of 7.422. 211 with a phase angle of minus 33.69 degrees and notice that gives us exactly 2 with a phase angle of 0 degrees so we can see that that's the equivalent 2 with a phase angle of 0 degrees is the Norton equivalent current which is interesting it's the exact same current that we have in the source as our Norton equivalent circuit hmm Kind of interesting, but that is what it is. This is how it's done. Now let's see if it's correct. Sure looks like it. Hi, Tappy. Come on. Yeah. There's our good Tappy here, huh? Hmm? Are you a good doggy? 
Yeah.